Framing the American Dream conducted two controlled home builds to allow for apples-to-apples -apples framing comparisons. In 1995, the project built two identical 2,600-square-foot two-story houses. In 2015, two identical 2,900-square-foot ranch-style houses with walkout basements were framed side-by-side. The only difference between the two homes in both builds was one house was entirely stick framed, while the other house was framed using structural components, including roof trusses, wall panels, and floor trusses. As these houses were built, the work of each framer was tracked and recorded to measure the time and materials needed to accomplish distinct framing tasks. In this video, we'll look at the differences between site-built stick framed roof rafters and installed manufactured roof trusses. Stick framing rafters on the job site remains a common method for constructing residential roofs in some regions of the country. According to a recent member study by the National Association of Home Builders, stick framed rafter construction accounts for one third of the total square footage of roofs built in the U.S. However, framing the American Dream data clearly indicates roof trusses are a better way to frame in that it takes more labor and considerably more skill to stick frame a roof on the job site. In the 2015 study, the stick-framed roof took a crew of six framers almost 12 and a half hours to complete for a total of 74 and a half work hours. In contrast, a crew of six framers needed less than eight hours to install the manufactured roof trusses, completing the same task in only 47 and a half work hours, resulting in a savings of 27 work hours. Today's design software allows roof truss manufacturers to more accurately and efficiently resist the flow of loads through a building. Built in a controlled manufacturing environment with the help of computer-aided machinery and a rigorous quality control program, roof trusses are built with precision, resulting in truly superior structural framing. Yet installing roof trusses requires less skill, training and experience from framing crews than framing a roof in the field. In addition, roof trusses allow for much longer spans, enabling more open floor plans. On the job site, framing the American Dream data suggests that installing roof trusses completes the task of framing a building's roof in less time, requires less framer skill and experience, and ultimately results in a roof that enables more open and flexible floor plans. If you'd like to learn more about the Framing the American Dream project, go to sbcindustry.com forward slash F-A-D.